Hi guys, Sasha from netbooknews.com. We are at the Mao Kong Gondola, actually in a cabin, as you can tell. Everything is moving. I'm super afraid of height, and I thought it was a good place uh, to make a, a little rant on a, more like a statement. As some of you might know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of analysts and market researchers, especially when it comes to the mobile computing market. And I love to read their uh, uh, predictions and prophecies again and again. Actually, just yesterday, um, there's a new study or prediction from, from Gartner over the mobile com or on the mobile computing market until the year 2015. You know, my fundamental belief or philosophy when it comes to these market research and analysts, and especially when they're making predictions on the mobile computing market, whatever goes beyond 12 months, it's just complete bogus. It makes no sense. It is on the same level of prediction as someone would tell you, you know what, in 237 years, we are going to ha get hit by a huge meteoroid, and it's going down downtown Taipei, and uh, he's just predicting this by throwing a couple of chicken bones into the air and taking a look at the pattern of how they fell down. It just makes no sense. And just to let you know that this makes no sense, because this is the most vibrant, the most innovative market in the computing industry. Everything is changing so quickly. And just to prove this, before we take a look at the numbers that our Gartner predicted yesterday, Let's take a quick look at the numbers they released on September the 10th in 2010. This is just eight months ago. Nicole? Here we're taking a look at Gartner's press release from September 10, 2010, where it states that Symbian is going to challenge for number one position in 2014. Right at the beginning it says Symbian and Android will account for f nearly 60% of mobile OS sales by 2014. Now this is only eight months ago. So if we scroll down to their predicted numbers, we can see that Symbian in 2009 uh, was at 46.9% and it's going to decline to 30.2%, whereas Android is going to go from 3.9% up to 29.6%. If we take a look at some of the other ones, if you look at maybe iOS, so Apple is going to uh, peak in 2011 at 17, but then it's going to drop. RIM is going to go from 20% down to 11, and WinPhone is going to go from 8.7 down to 3.9. So these are Gartner's numbers from September 10, 2010, um, only eight months ago. And you can go here to their official uh, press resources to see their press releases to see these fantastic predictions for yourself. Okay. So that means Symbian is taking one third of the smartphone market share in 2014. Are you got them kidding me? What are you doing all along? What are you doing? Are you, are you really actually listening to companies? Are you actually talking to developers to see what they want to do and what they're predicting? But you know what? Let's take a quick look at the numbers they released yesterday on the 7th of April in 2011. Eight months after they released these numbers are uh, uh, we've been talking about before. April 7, 2011. Gartner says Android could ban nearly half of worldwide smartphone operating system market by end of 2012. Well, this is a drastic difference eight months later. <laughs> so let's uh, scroll down. Um, OS devices will be 26 uh, 26, 26% rather than uh, the 17 they predicted earlier. So if we look here, it's drastically different. Symbian, rather than going to uh, 30%, is at 0 0.1. Android's now at 48. Research in Motion is still around 11. Uh, I iOS is a little bit higher. And if we remember, this is the big difference. Microsoft with Win 7, uh, they were supposed to actually drop down to 3%. Right, yeah. So, eight months later, this is Gartner's latest chance at uh, trying to get the numbers right. So yeah, pretty interesting numbers. Uh, especially when we're taking a look at the market share of Symbian that Gartner predicted for 2014 in the predictions they released in 2010, which was 13.2%. And now they dropped down to 0.1% in 2015. That's going to be a tough year for Nokia with all their symbionts, dropping 13.1% of market share. 
and also what about these Windows Phone 7 numbers? And what about Blackberry? What are these guys doing all the time? When they made this prediction back in September, we already knew about Windows Phone 7. We already knew that Blackberry or RIM acquired QNX. We could already predict the strategy for the future, getting away from BlackBerry OS and getting more uh, to an internet embracing operating system, a touch friendly operating system that they're building up with QNX and Tablet OS. So, these guys that were doing the prediction back in September 2010 and charging you fellas out there $10,000 or almost $10,000 to download their white papers. I don't know, maybe next time you should get over to your local street fair and go to this little old lady, or to the gypsy lady with a crystal ball, because she might be way more accurate than all these so-called analysts out there that are having no connection to the industry at all. I'm Sasha for NetbookNews.com. Thanks for watching.